Welcome to our holiday edition of Preservation in New Bedford Today. Um, I'm going to be your host. I am Mark Fuller, also New Bedford Preservation Society's current president. And we are here filming the event, our holiday house tour for the Preservation Society. Um, the tour starts here at the Warm Seda Club. And uh, let me give you a little bit of information um, about the house. It was built by James Arnold circa 1821. It is a federal style uh, mansion and it was updated in the 1870s to include the mansard roof that you see up top um, and has been operating as the Warm Cider Club ever since 1919. Um, originally founded in 1866 to introduce baseball to the aristocratic youth of the city, the club has been in continuous operation ever since. Um, be sure um, to enjoy what we're going to be showing you here today and hope you have a great holiday season. Thank you. Our first property here is the Arnold C. Gardner House, built in 1898 as part of the original Abbey Estate. This house is in a shingle style. It was purchased in 1923 from the heirs of the Abbey Estate, um, who had built all six homes on Clinton Place, and they were all designed by local architect Nathaniel C. Smith. The first resident owner, Gardner, at one time was a treasurer of the Manomet Mills. Our next property is the Benjamin Cummings House, built in 1855 in the Italianate style. Like so many of his contemporaries, Cummings invested his profits in whaling and grew wealthy. In 1854, the bark Benjamin Cummings was launched from New Bedford.
At 379 County Street stands the Honorable Joseph Grinnell House, built in 1830 in the Greek Revival style. One of the most historically significant homes in New Bedford, designed by Russell Warren of Providence, Grinnell was elected to the House of Representatives in 1843. Grinnell was instrumental in locating the first cotton manufacturing complex in New Bedford, the Wamsada Mills, in 1846. Well, here we are inside the Grinnell Mansion with some of our tour goers today. As a matter of fact, I'm seeing some of our actual volunteers who worked at uh, our houses uh, last night. How are you ladies enjoying the tour so far? This is our first, first house. We went, we're going backwards. First house, but we've had a great tour today. Yes. Great. So uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Well, wait a minute. I oh. want to say this was my school. <laughs> okay. At St. John's Academy. So I'm just reminiscing with them, telling them all about how this was my school from it started from kindergarten to twelfth grade. That's St. John's Academy. So uh, you know that. And we're saying that was only just last year or so? <laughs> <laughs> well I'll show you that. There you go. <laughs> right in right the grade. At 139 Orchard Street stands the Captain Benjamin Clark House built in 1845 in the Georgian Revival style. Captain Clark was part owner of several whaling vessels and captain of the whalers Clarice and Abigail in the 1830s. This house is currently in operation as the Orchard Street Manor Bed and Breakfast. The Harry Wantman House, built in 1925 in the Greek, Italianate, and Colonial Revival styles, Wantman, a Russian immigrant, established a dry goods store on Water Street in the commercial center of New Bedford's South End. He was active in social and cultural activities, including the founding of the Hebrew Free Loan Society. have some house goers to our tour. How are you enjoying the tour today? Oh, it's gorgeous. Everything's beautiful. Thank you for coming. We uh, enjoy having you. Oh, glad to be here. Thank you. Bye now. Mr. Waltman and I immigrated here from Russia um, in the early 1900s, and we built this home in 1925. Um, and it is actually a two-family home. There is a family upstairs as well. The architecture that you'll see here is still original for the house. You'll include things like the Dutch column style, which has rounded columns and square columns, mirrored on the interior and the exterior of the home. Please feel free to come in and make yourself at home.
this house, constructed at the time when the Upper West End was being developed for Alcid and Catherine Tremblay in 1924 in the Dutch colonial style. Tremblay was overseer for several manufacturing firms, including the Grinnell Mills and then later the Kilburn Mills. At 412 County Street stands the Samuel W. Rodman House, built between 1841 and 1845 in the Gothic style. Rodman, a whaling merchant and Quaker, built this house with a rough stone exterior, possibly to stiffen the inherent informality of the Gothic style cottage. It is the current location of the Interchurch Council. Here at 396 County Street stands the Roach Jones Duff House and Garden Museum. Built in 1833 for William Roach, this house is in the Greek Revival style. You will discover the golden age of whaling inside this noble home turned museum. And you get to marvel at the holiday decorations, the decorator rooms, and art glass from the New Bedford Museum of Glass.
At 388 County Street stands the William Roach Rodman House, built between 1833 and 1836 in the Greek Revival style. The house was designed by Providence architect Russell Warren. The dignity and grandeur of what was reputed to be one of the most expensive homes built in America in its day. You get to marvel at the interiors that were created in 1919 by the Langshaw family. I hope you've enjoyed our tour this year. As an added feature, we had some portrayers at the William Roach Rodman Mansion who were recreating families who had lived in the property. We had Mr. and Mrs. Walter Langshaw who lived in the house in uh, 1919 and did a major remodeling of the building. And we were also visited by Mayor Abraham Howland and his wife Mehitable, who lived in the house in the 1850s. Hope you've enjoyed our tour this year. As an added feature to the show, we are also showcasing some of the homes that were on a previous tour. Here at the Samuel H. Cook House, tour goers enjoy one of the city's few stick style homes built circa 1875. This beautifully restored residence is a tour favorite and has been asked for many years. The Anna Roach Stone House, like many large homes throughout the city, the circa 1891 Neo-Georgian Classical Revival has been converted to offices. Observe the sensitive reuse of this former home and partake in a diverse collection of nativity sets. Here we have two neighboring homes. The, the first one, built for heirs of Daniel H. Rick, uh, Rickardson, uh, represents the more modest homes built west of County Street, circa 1897. The second home, built for George R. Stetson, has an openness of a floor plan and the magnificent front-to-back living room should not be missed. This particular home was decorated by volunteers of the New Bedford Preservation Society. The Thomas R. Bryant House is located in one of New Bedford's Whaling Era neighborhoods. This circa 1832 Cape is a fine example of a middle class 19th century home. Its unaltered federal style interior will definitely charm you. The Caleb G. Shepherd House, built in circa 1830, as New Bedford was well on its way to becoming one of the richest ports in the world. This Greek revival beautifully portrays its evolution through its eclectic features. Here at the William Roach Jr. House, also known as the RJD, is New Bedford's premier house museum. This for noble Greek revival home turned museum. You get to marvel at the holiday decorations. Its theme this year was collections. So you get to observe a collection of uh, orchids, topiary, and art glass from the New Bedford Glass Museum. Also, private collection of nutcrackers and glass Christmas ornaments. Once through the arch entryway of the William P.S. Caldwell House, which was built circa 1845 and in the Italianate style, you're greeted by costume portrayers who are living the lives of the Winslows in the 1920s. You catch a glimpse of holidays past in this historic home overlooking the Acushionate Heights Common Park. Again, hope you've enjoyed our uh, tour this year. Have a happy and safe holiday season.
As an added attraction at the William Roach Rodman House, we had portrayers who were recreating family members who actually lived in the house. 